colleagues to vote in favor of this contending resolution for two reasons. Number one, it keeps us on the path to put the brakes on this runaway spending that's gone around this place too long. It continues us to get to a place where we start a culture of savings instead of this culture of spending. And the second reason to vote for this, of course, is to make sure that we don't shut down the government, to give us a little more time to try to final negotiate the spending levels for next year. Now, somebody asked the question, is this, is this the best way to fund the government? Of course it's not. There's no way. It would have been a whole lot better if last year, under the Democratic leadership in this House, we had a budget before this House that would pass. But that didn't happen. It would have been better last year during the session if the Democratic leadership had gone through regular order, we'd pass the appropriations bill, and then the government would be funded for 2011. But they didn't do that. And it would have been a whole lot better after this House got together, made some tough choices, set some priorities, made difficult decisions, and passed a spending bill that cut $100 billion uh, out of this year's spending and sent it down to the Senate. It would have been better if they had taken that up and passed it or at least done something. But they didn't do that. So here we are. We find ourselves another CR, three more weeks. But let me tell you, these are difficult times. And in difficult times, leaders have to lead. We've got to sit down together and establish the priorities we have for spending. We've got to make tough choices. That's what every American family does. That's what every American business does. If we're going to get this economy moving again, we need to settle this once and for all. So I just hope that we'll pass this continuing resolution, that this will indeed be the last time we do this. Three weeks, sit down, have that other body sit down and negotiate with us. It takes two to tango, as they say. We sent the whole ball of wax down there, and they didn't like it. So now we're sending them a little at a time, but we're honoring that pledge to cut $100 billion. When you cut $2 billion every week, that all adds up to $100 billion. So this is six more billion dollars that we're cutting on top of the $4 billion we're cutting. But again, that's no way to settle the year. But let's settle it once for all. Let's pass this, move ahead, and get this thing done. I yield back my time. Gentleman is back. Gentleman from Washington. I yield two minutes to the distinguished.